So in my previous video, I built this sorting visualizer, which had only the bubble sort. So in this video, I will be adding some more algorithms and a way to switch between them seamlessly and also a way to control the speed of the algorithm. Because in the last video, I said you can control it by changing the value, but now we are going to add a slider to control the speed. So let's get started. Now, this was the code base, the exact same code base from my last video. Let me create a new file over here is.js this will be in session sort so in session sort is a sorting algorithm which is kind of faster than bubble sort and i will be implementing it now okay so first of all we need a function like we did in the previous algorithm in session sort And this function will also be taking the same number of arguments that the bubble sort took, the same exact same arguments. Let me just copy this so there's no confusion and paste it over here. All right, now the arrow. And in here, we're going to have the same variable for the color key. Minus one dot dice. Okay, so we have the color key array, right? and we are going to require three variables i and j to parse across the array, to traverse the array, and we're going to require a key variable because insertion sort revolves around a key variable, which you take and sort the algorithms depending on the key. So for, this is the first loop. This one, array dot length and increment i. So key will be the first element, so a of i array of i and j will be starting from one minus the actual i so from zero and we will be traversing through the array while j is greater than or equal to zero because we are decrementing it by one we need to make sure that it is greater than or equal to zero because array of minus one will be undefined and i less than array dot no actually this is a while loop so and array of j is greater than the key so if it is greater than the key we will move the element array of j plus one equals array of j and we will update the array steps so dot push not color steps we need the array steps array dot slice and now since we have pushed the array steps now we have to take care of the color so that is what I'll be doing now color key i equals three the key of will be equal to three and I don't know why this bracket is acting weird. Okay, so that's done. Now if i is equal to j actually let me make that equal to j yeah j plus one then color key of j plus 1 will be equal to 3. So this means that this one is the current key. So 
this exact variable will be the current key and it will be denoted by the color code three. And if that is not the case, we will make color key of i j plus one equals one. All right. So now color key of j should be equal to one again. And we will push the color. Let me dot slice. Yeah, perfect. Now we'll make it zero again because for the next iteration we don't want it to be colored, All right? So for the key of j plus one equals zero, and color key of i should be equal to zero. And color key of j should be equal to zero. So, so let me get this in the next line. And j should be decremented. This is a part of the algorithm. So I pushed the colors and I made them zero, ready to go for the next iteration. And then I'm decrementing j. That is a part of the algorithm because you have to decrement j. All right. So. Now, after everything is done, we have to push the last few steps in. So, array of j plus 1 equals key. And array steps to push array of slines. And color steps will push the color key. All right. And now, for the last step, we need to make everything sorted. So, color steps are color steps dot length minus one equals new array array dot length dot fill with two All right now let me export this make it as I use okay I yes all right I've exported it. Now the only thing left is to import it over here. Import sort from dot slash algorithm slash is perfect. And now in here, I'm going to have to add that as well. So insertion sort. And let me call it over here. Yeah, no errors. It compiled successfully. So let's see the output. Right. So if I click on this, okay, we have an error. Okay, so color is undefined. Yeah, we forgot to define color number three. So let me do that. We only had three. I mean, yeah, three colors from the previous video. That is indexes zero, one, and two, and we didn't have an index three. So I will be adding that right about now. Okay, so that was inside bar.js, I believe. Yeah, it's right here. So let me pick out a good looking color. I think I'll be using this one. I've already picked this color out. Now, you need to do that, yeah. So, we yeah, copied it, but pasting, yeah, it got pasted, yeah. RGBA, and let me adjust this to 0 0.5 alpha value, and this one to 0 0.2, and this will be RGBA, perfect. Now, should work. Yeah, as you can see, insertion sort is working perfectly fine. Give it a little bit, it gets sorted, and we will move on to the next algorithm that will be selection sort. Yeah, that is sorted and it's working perfectly fine. So, selection sort, it is similar to bubble sort. Selection.js. Excuse me for my typing. 
Okay. And in here, I'm going to import swap because we did it in bubble sort. I said it's similar to bubble sort, so swap from dot slash helpers. Leave us there, yes. And selection equals it'll have the same arguments once again. So let me just copy it to avoid confusion. This one here. Yeah, the arrow function. And in here we are going to going to be doing the same steps. So first step is obviously the same. I need the color key and then for net i equals zero i less than array dot array dot length actually length minus one then i plus plus this is similar to bubble sort so most of the steps are going to be same the exact same index equals i for let j equals one and i plus one j less than array but length of course and j plus plus and then here if Array of J is less than min index. Array of min index. We give min index equals J. And now it's time to store the colors. So color key. Min index. equals one the color key of j should also be equal to one now i'll push the array steps and the color, color steps so array steps dot push array dot slice And color steps dot push color key dot slide. Okay, now with that done, we have to change it back to zero again for the next iteration, obviously. So color key of what did we change first? Min index. So min index equals zero now and color key of j will be equal to zero. Get that j will zero. Perfect. Now we are going to swap. So swap array with the min index and i. And then color key of i will be two because it will be sorted by then. The minimum most element will get sorted so color key of i equals two and array steps we have push it obviously dot push array dot slice and color steps dot push color key dot slice perfect now at the end obviously we have to make the last set of elements which is obviously sorted the green color that uh, that represents sorted so color steps dot length minus one i was such an idiot the autocomplete just showed me and i didn't click on it okay danny autocomplete new array okay array dot length 
and we had to fill it with the color code 2. Perfect. Now let's export it. And let's import it over here. Algorithm selection and selections S is got to be, yeah, it is uppercase. Perfect. Okay, so now let's try selection sort. And I have to add a key value pair for that as well. So, the selection sort there, yeah, perfect. Let me save this. Now it should be selection sort. Yeah, it is performing selection sort. Perfect. Now, will it sort correctly? Because what is my question? Or did we do some mistake? Did we forget to push the steps? Well, this is not right. I think we forgot to push the steps. Well, it's got to be it. Selection, am I pushing the array steps? Yes, I am. What could have gone wrong? Ooh. I'll figure out what went wrong and I'll get back to you right away. So I figured out what went wrong. We are using array steps here and that condition is never met because array of j is an integer obviously and array steps of min index is obviously an entire array. Integer cannot be compared to an array so the condition is never met and we end up never changing this. So it should work now. Oh, let me drag it in. Perfect should work now. Yeah, it is working. Perfect. So that is selection sort, folks. This would be it for the video. Add the two algorithms because I don't want to make the video so too long. The last video was for two hours, I believe. Yes. And that's way too long. So hopefully this will do it. I will make the other necessary changes and complete the project in my upcoming videos.